Jackie Kennedy remains America's most iconic first lady, as much a fashion idol as she was considered the quiet and doting wife of John Fitzgerald Kennedy. But the newly released interviews, recorded just four months after the assassination of her husband, reveal a tender, intelligent and at times gossipy woman with controversial views. Take her opinion of Indira Gandhi, who she met during a visit to India in 1962. And she is a real <laughs> bitter kind of pushy, horrible woman. You know, I just don't like her a bit. Who always looks like she's been sucking a lemon. During the eight hours of recordings, Jackie Kennedy paints a picture of a happy family, insisting that her role was one of domestic servitude, an apolitical first lady. But she goes on to reveal her husband's apparent disdain for his own vice president, Lyndon Johnson, a cutting assessment of a man who succeeded President Kennedy. Bobby told me this later, and I know Jack said it to me sometimes. He said, oh God, can you ever imagine what would happen to the country if Lyndon was president? In a more tender moment, she talks about the Cuban Missile Crisis, the most testing time of Kennedy's term in office, and the closest America has ever come to a nuclear attack. Said, even if there's not room in the bomb shelter in the White House, which I'd seen, I said, please, uh, then I just want to be on the lawn when it happens. No, but I just want to be with you, and I want to die with you, and the children do too. According to Jackie's daughter Caroline Kennedy, the tapes have been released to mark the 50th anniversary of President Kennedy's inauguration, but many are now questioning why they were released, warts and all. These tapes peel back the layers of a woman who has, for the best part of 50 years, been a mystery. It's clear she was a devoted wife and mother, but it's also clear she had a more acidic side to her personality, at one point referring to the civil rights leader Martin Luther King as a phony, views that may well shock and upset large portions of American society. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Washington.